Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. You may notice we are picking up exactly where we left off. Same shirt, same delivery behind us. Let's get going, let's earn some more money. No messing about. So today, we're going to try and do some construction site deliveries. See if that gives us something different with the uh, the drop side man. I quite like this truck, enjoyed it. It was quite an easy, easy casual drive last time out. See if we can earn enough money to give us... Oh, this is what we're after. This is what we want. That's the money one as well. Look at that. Ten grand. Ten grand there as well. That's what we're doing. It's not even all that weighty. Oh, no, that's different. That's just delivering... Hmm. Yeah, they are, they are different. Different trailers. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go with this one because that's a different trailer and that's a different load and vehicle. So that's what we're after. Okay, so using the front loader, load the rocks into the trailer. We've got to load 12 rocks into our trailer. We'll start the engine. Where's our trailer? Anyone see where our... Oh, it's over there. Where's the... Oh, no, we're loading into that trailer. Okay. Of course, we got a trailer, didn't we? Got a trailer. Let's do the. Uh, see how that works. That's fine. Right. Twelve rocks. We gotta get. How high up do I need to be before I can start turning that high up? I think these are the rocks. Yeah. How do I know if I've got any? That's out. Oh, we got some. We got some. Interesting. Something new. This is where we... Uh, let's get a little uh, screenshot of that for our thumbnail. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There we go. Right. We try and do it in cab. Because we like to make life awkward for ourselves. Now, hopefully, none of this falls out in transit as well. That would be embarrassing. Now, am I over there far enough? Oh, we got seven in one hit. What a beast. Tell you what, I do. <laughs> enjoy this game. Uh, I don't know if I'm mad for enjoying it. No, it's not a bad. It's not a bad game. There's nothing wrong with it. More people should be enjoying it. How many have we got here? Oh, I lost a couple. Lost a couple. We may have to go for a third one. This is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Yes. I'm having so much fun with this game. It's like a guilty pleasure. I feel like I shouldn't be enjoying it this much. It's weird. The game isn't weird. It's weird that I'm enjoying it this much. Or it's weird that I feel like I shouldn't. Why shouldn't I enjoy it? It's a fun game. Does it not want us to take more then? Can we... So I still got one in there. Yeah, let's have extras. I reckon I could get more of that in there. Oh, it's not going to let me. So I think... I could have got that whole... Oh... <laughs> That one spawned in. They're like, no, you can't have their ones. They were extra. <laughs> and another one. Are they just going to keep coming? More bricks in for later. Is there someone up on that scaffold and throwing bricks down? Because it's dangerous. Because I'm down here. Where's my hard hat? <laughs> Perhaps I need to try construction simulator again. I tried the old ones. Not the ones. Say the old ones. The Construction Simulator 3. When they stopped being like mobile games and becoming a little bit more for console, I, I have one of them on my console. Not the newest one. The newest one actually looks a lot better than the game I tried. Or that, that I brought. Bless him, my son still tries to play it. He doesn't realise that it's as complicated as it is and doing things. But Yeah, perhaps I'd enjoy Construction Simulator again. Maybe I should get that. Give that a whirl. Next time it's on sale, it might end up in my uh, on my steam basket. 
or we'll have a look on uh, CD keys or somewhere and see how much it's going for. I am a fan of the uh, the game key sites for for games I'm not too certain about and just want to have a have a little go on. Grab it, usually more than half price. So anyway, as I like to do, thank you very much for coming back and joining us. Uh, a little bit late in the video to be saying that, but I had fun with bricks. I just want to crack on. I want to do something different. See what we had. Um, I wonder what other materials they could possibly have for us because there was different trailers. Unless the other one was just loading the skid steer on and uh, and doing that. But we've got our bricks. Should we have a look at our, our bricks in the back again. It feels like we're underutilizing the vehicle that we have by not putting the bricks in the back of us. If that makes sense, stick them in your back. But you know what I mean. Put them in the drop side would make sense. Although it'd be hard to get out, I guess. But you'd have someone at the other end just huffing them. So yeah, they were big enough bricks. They could have gone in the back for us. Never mind. We've got a trailer because there's no. I don't think there's any reason why we couldn't have pulled that trailer with a minivan. Minivan would have pulled that, I think. I'm sure we pulled loads that weighed the same, if not more. I think I need to be over a bit. There we go. I guess it helps to keep, you know, varying loads for for different, different vehicles rather than just being able to buy one vehicle and doing all the loads. Probably slow down a little bit here. Now let's go for it. But we've got quite a drive on this one. Let's see what we see. We're pretty much travelling up the whole... Or travelling up? Yeah. Up the whole east coast of the map, I believe we're travelling. Up here, anyway. Oh, roundabout! Oh, I wish they were marked up a little bit better on the map. They can catch you out, mate. You need to stop slowing down and keep going. Oh, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get yeah, move on. What's that over there? I see some things. I don't think they were crates, were they? I wonder. I should imagine they have by now. It's been four years, hasn't it? Someone must have a video out there that I can watch to go and find all the crates. Someone must have them. Crate locations. Where do I go? Oh, there's one in there. There's one in there. How do I get to it? How do I get in there? I need a car, don't I? That's what. That's the purpose of a car. We need to buy a car and remember where all these spots are. So I found one. Or the um, or the four by four because that'll get us off road a little bit better, won't it? How do we get in there? Like this is all. Ah, uh, is that coming from there and drive right here? When we get our pickup truck, our four by four, we're going to go off road and oh show. Tossing off into the hills. Looking for floaty boxes. For money. Rather than doing deliveries and probably earn more money, let's go find the floaty boxes. So I don't know what they're worth. I think look I said for on um, Ellipse Gamer he 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 found one when he spawned in. But I forget how much he got paid for that. But, talking about my own channel for a second, um, I need to crack on with my SnowRunner series, which has sort of gone quiet again just due to time restraints and things like that. But I need to crack on with that. It just keeps hurting my feelings by making it hard for me. Um, because Sabre have a new game coming out, which is like an evolution of SnowRunner. It's not called SnowRunner. I forget what it's called. It's something about roads. And it looks awesome. It's 
come on, it says 2025. I suspect with the way that SnowRunner came out and with the way and, and the way that SnowRunner is doing its seasons and with Expeditions as well, I would suspect that it would come out summer or to the end of summer 2025 or maybe even say October 2025 so we've got a bit of time but that's that's a long that's not a lot of time to try and get through everything that I need to do in snow running. And I have said I'd like to get back and do some expeditions as well because you know that is a cool game. It's different but it's cool. Different challenges. But I absolutely as you know I absolutely love snow runner. And it might not come across because I haven't finished Michigan yet on this series. But I have over the last say five years nearly now I've played so much SnowRunner without getting anywhere in SnowRunner just because I love I've reset it so many times we were talking about this on the um, on the farm and um, multiplayer the other evening with uh, Rusty or Baz depending on what platform you may see him communicating on uh, he's a big fan of it he absolutely loves SnowRunner as well and he's in much the same boat has uh, been playing it pretty much since day dot and has barely seen a quarter of the content available because it is so big there's so much of it so I, I really need to crack on with that so I'm wondering if I I know it's not going to maybe do my channel much favours but I might cut down on some of the farming content because obviously FS22 has been out for three years now it's coming to an end it takes a lot of time and effort to go into the content and with dwindling viewing figures on a game that's not as popular as it was and putting that time in whereas I could crack on with my SnowRunner and crack on with something like this where I can do this pretty quick have fun with it and put a few of these out and I'll reach my goal of this series I, I imagine rather quickly and being able to then do something different or put time to something else uh, so yeah, SnowRunner might if I can get if I can get the time because it's, it's sitting for a whole hour and then, you know, chopping it and cleaning it up um, but getting that whole hour sometimes is the challenge because I don't like to uh, do bit recording. That's one of my it's one of my own personal challenges with the farm sim content is I don't like recording a little bit, coming back, recording a little bit, and then doing another bit maybe tomorrow and doing that in two sections. I like to sit and do the whole thing. And at the minute with some of my content, that's that's four or five hours straight recording, which is massive chunk of anyone's day as I'm sure you can imagine and having small children at home you don't always have that whereas the time it takes to do an episode of this and do a couple of jobs and have a little look around I can fit that in my day that works well that's why you're being served two of these a week at the minute maybe more depends on how, how quickly I can do them and how far, how far ahead I can get in my own personal goal, my challenge, own, own at least one of every type of vehicle and do deliveries with them and then do a little bit more exploring with them. I think we'll have um, done well in that. I'll have a look at what some of the actual in-game achievements are as well, see if there's anything there that we should try and hit and accomplish. Like I said, because I am enjoying it and I, I imagine once, once I've got every vehicle and I've done all the loads, I guess some of that will sort of wane a little bit as things do as they get older but yeah to me this is a new game I've only just brought it despite being four years old and it's only just been updated and improved to play a lot better so for me this was the time to play it still trying to keep my eyes peeled for anything else now that might be out there like the truth And as I've covered in uh, a lot of the ETS and ATS and even in farming, as, as someone who is legally not allowed to drive anymore, getting on these driving games is it's so fun. <laughs> oh dear. We've still got all our bricks. Our trailer looks fine. It does look a little bit empty, actually. It doesn't look like there's 12 in there, does it? Certainly not the as many as we put in. I'm just going to stop and count here. There's, we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, there is 12. 
we definitely could have loaded up. Loaded up? Is that even English? Definitely could have loaded all those all those bricks in there and done this. It's a big delivery for them. This is the, uh, the, the... I said a few episodes ago that the cities look much the same. As I've travelled around, I noticed that they don't. It's just I've just been going back and forth to the same two. <laughs> because the this is the... Uh, the skyscraper metropolitan city, this one. But whereas other places we've been to, it doesn't look like this as much anyway. We're taking bricks from one construction site and dropping them off at another. Perhaps they ran out of um, broken rubble here and they need some more. Oh, 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 oh there. Unload the cargo of the dump trailer by lifting the hydraulics. Okay. Don't know how we do that. So that could be fun. I might have to hop in the menu and find out how that works. Where are we going with it? I'm sure it'll give me a key. Oh, it's on my mouse by the looks of it. Possibly could be also attached to my side panel. We'll have a look. I hope it is, because that'll be better. That'll be better. Alright, so we're there. Let's turn the indicator off. Oh, it does work on the side panel. Excellent. Should we do this out of cab so you guys can see? It's point of me doing it and not being able to see. Let's get a nice nice angle for delivery, please. There we go. Oh, let's back it up a little. Let's get it in the box. Oh, in. So someone's phone is ringing. There we go. Excellent. I like that. That was fun. Was that our first job? That was our first job. Uh, that's a lot of fun with that, weren't you? 10,000. So we're up to 70 grand. We can buy whatever there. Free ED we like, pretty much. I believe the um, the big tractor truck units, uh, or the truck tractor units, whichever way around that's supposed to be, I think they cost, like, a, was it 100 and, 110, 112 grand? But that's not what I'm worried about buying next, anyway. So is that all disconnected now? That is. Excellent. Okay, so... Shall we see what we can get from this construction? It might it might offer me the same bricks. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. Or... Ooh, I wonder... We'll just have a look. I'm sure I can back out if I don't want anything. Because that I think that's just delivering the skid steer. What was the rubble? Rubbles. Units we've done. Should we, de should we deliver a skid steer? It's a different. It's a different vehicle that we're delivering. Brings us into town there. I think I might do that. We're gonna do that one. Okay. It might, it might not be, but I think we are going to be delivering the skid steer. Let's give that a go. By the looks of what we are, so let's boot it up. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's deliver a skid steer. A little bit more to want it to catch. Don't give it too much oomph and shoot off. Right, we're on. Teleportation. Ready. ourselves up a little bit can so that looks like the right way is it? I think that trailer is facing the opposite way is this the way we drove onto it isn't it it's around here there we go
Gonna break the game in a minute. Let's put your head on straight. Right. Lights. Let's navigate. Follow the navigation to transport the cargo. Let's go. Let's go, homie. Don't be scared, homie. There we go, there we go. Come on. It's been a long day. The delirium's starting to set in. Let's get this one done. Let's get this one done and go to bed. <laughs> uh, dear. Kids go back to school soon. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to do wonders for my uh, mental health and blood pressure. Looking for stuff. Don't mind me. Just having to snoop around your businesses. I'm guessing there aren't all that many then in the towns and cities, and that they are all out in the wilderness, those um, crates that we need to collect. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Roadworks. For whatever reason, the uh, recording gave up on me there. I don't know what, what's going on. Perhaps I need to update OBS. It does keep telling me to update it, so I'll update it. The trouble is with OBS, sometimes when I update it, I lose my settings. And it's such an annoyance having to reset them and put them back in. My uh, my editing software as well keeps telling me I need, not that I need to, that there is an update for it. But again, sometimes that, that resets. I know when I did one of the updates, I lost all my custom... Not that I've really used them much, but I fiddle about with stuff that you guys never see. Uh, I fiddle about with doing fonts and editing styles and transitions and, and other things. Um, but yeah, I lost a lot of the custom stuff that I downloaded and put in and different packs that I put in there. Hence why you don't see them, because they're no longer there anymore. Because... When I updated the uninstall, it didn't carry over the installations. And as we've already well established throughout the last three years, I am quite a lazy person at certain, when it comes to certain things. Like, oh, I've already done that. If I've got to do it again, that's annoying. <laughs> Not to, I hate... As much as I... It's really weird. It's really weird. As much as I love playing these repetitive simulator games, I hate repeating myself. That's weird, isn't it? Because I love, I, I really enjoy the simple monotony, and it is monotony. There's no, there's no glaze in it. The simple monotony of a lot of simulator games, whether it be trucking, farming, even that crazy gas simulator, um, shipbreaker, anything like that, you're doing the same thing over and over again, and I enjoy that. But actual me having to repeat myself and do the things that I do over and over again really, really irritates me. It's strange that, isn't it? Like, why do I get pleasure and enjoyment and relaxation from doing these repetitive things? Yet me doing the same thing over and over again, or just have to do the same thing two or three times, really bugs me. Like, really bugs me. Like, I, I get so irritated really quickly with stuff like that. Strange. We're strange things, humans, aren't we? Strange things. We call it part of the human condition. You got a box in there on your farm at all, mate? Maybe? Oh, that van's sort of hopping about. I was... I thought he was coming at speed, but I guess he sort of slammed his brakes on. I thought he was coming. I was giving him a wide berth. Oh, the sun on the tarmac today. Look at that. Another beautiful load. So we can... Woohoo! That's nice. Not easy to see everything. It's got a little bounce to it. Let's see if we can see any collectibles to forget about. Yeah, I'm not a big not a big fan of the outer cam. 
But if I was, like I said before, said a million times over, if I was playing with a controller, I probably wouldn't have an issue with out of cab. Although I did say I had a little had a little play on um, truck driver on my console. And with truck driver on console, I, still, I, I, I do it all in cab with a controller. Even when I play farm sim on console, I like to do that all in, in cab with a controller. I just prefer the in cab view for things. That natural view. Or for me, I consider it to be the natural view. If you were in a vehicle and doing something, this is where you would be. You wouldn't be floating, you know, eight feet behind your vehicle and seeing everything everywhere. Sometimes the controls can be awkward. But in cab on a controller. A bit like with um, SnowRunner, as much as I enjoy SnowRunner from in cab. In cab, that is such a challenge because you cannot see your wheels. And with the way that, obviously you can't see your wheels when you're inside your truck. Um, but with the way the train, you need to see where your wheels are and what they're going down on. When we first started the stream series, I did a lot of that in cab with wheel. And we did alright, actually. But it is... It is difficult. And just with then going in cab with controller on snow run, it just, it just felt really hard. Something about it in cab just becomes more challenging. But as I've said to many people before, snow runner isn't trying to be necessarily uh, the driving simulator like other driving games. It's, that's not what it is. It's a vehicle terrain combat game. You are fighting with it all the time. I bet there's something to collect around there. Cause there's a way of getting in there. Look, that gap is not there for no reason, is it? That's how we've got to start looking at this to find these crates. Finding all the crates is not going to be a challenge that we have on here, I don't think. That'll take me way too long, unless I cheated and just found a video that has them. Take a peek down here. Look, there was one. There's one. Oh, how do we get in there? How? How? There's a pipe in the way. Do I get up in there? Oh, we've seen a few now. Right. Juicy, juicy fruit loops. Getting through the bush. Through the bush. But then you got to get over that pipe, haven't you? I wonder. I wonder. Will will the last bit of this episode be me hossing up in this truck? Oh, they're gone quick. Slow you down, mate. Slow you down. It's unnecessary. Absolute lunacy. It's quite handy that they're constructing right next to a construction equipment vehicle um, dealer. By the looks of it. Do you think we can get this this drop side up there? Up there to collect a crate. I do not know if we can. But I think we should have some fun and try and find out. I was gonna to check to see how long we've been going for, but obviously I had to reset the record. I've been doing these in two jobs to try not to make them too long, like about sort of 30 minutes roughly. Is that what they've been. You know, so you guys might stick around to see me uh, tip the truck. So, six and a half grand, uh, 4.7 kilometers, which is pretty good. Right. We're going to go and see if. I don't think we'll be able to get up there, will we? Do you... Th <laughs> right. We may be testing the recovery system of this game soon. 
How do vehicles... Oh, we got up there quite easy, actually. Right. Bear with me. Realism is key. Oh, got to get him through the fence. And I need to find a way. I wonder if we can get up and in. Through this horse whining, isn't it? At the top of this fence. It doesn't go all the way, does it? Oh, yeah. Let me get a crate. Does our truck fit down through his fruit and veg? Because it was in between some. Well, I thought they were. I guess they look like they were melons from down the end there, but now I'm starting to think they aren't melons. They look like he's grown big cacti. Was it. Which one was it down? Which one? Where was it? Oh, I can't see it now. Just go drive through. Where was this crate? Where was it? Desperate for it. There it is. I see it. I see it. Oh. Turns out that cactus is physical. <laughs> None of the other parts, just that one. That one had collision. And it sounded like I hit a metal post as I uh, tapped it. Where's the box gone? I see it a minute ago. There it is. Right. How much is this crate worth? 1,000. Oh, there's 50 of them to collect. It's only worth a grand. Right, we'll not worry about the rest of them. <laughs> grand. I thought they were worth more than that. And on that bombshell, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, we've got a couple of deliveries here. We've done some new deliveries. I really like doing the bricks. The bricks was fun. We've got our first crate. Whether we get many more, I don't know. I'm not even sure if we're now going to have to pay out a grand to fix whatever broke on the truck. But hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.